water trail landing, water access for non-motorized vehicles, our lovely kayaks and canoes on the north side. It is our eighth for Friends of the Riverfront. And we're also here to celebrate our heritage signs, our interpretive signs. And for that, I would like Bob, B Bob Gangro to come up and explain to you what that is. And this one right here is the latest one. It's called Life on the Riverfront. Bob? <laughs> Thanks, Judy. Uh, we have about 30 signs on the river, and I've, I've had my hand in all of them. I'm a former magazine editor, and I like to capture an audience. I like people to go back and read the sign more than once. And so I try and put things in it that keep pulling you back. Uh, you'll notice that the species of the river have their Latin names. Well, you've seen the picture, you know the popular name. Then you go back and you read the Latin name. There's something about it that makes you want to read it more than once. And I think that's one of the nice things about these signs. Also note that the, the pedestal says Pittsburgh. There's a beam there. That's not your off-the-shelf National Park Service pedestal. We go to a little special extra effort to, to make them individual and say Pittsburgh. So this is the latest, and uh, we're now embarking on a, a series of environmental signs. We've got a lot of history signs already, uh, but uh, we'll do one on the fish that are in the rivers. We're going to do another one on the, on the birds that fly in our region. So you'll, you'll see a few more environmental things. Thanks. So for those of you who don't know me, and since these are mostly North Siders, they know me. <laughs> My name is Judy Melvin, and I'm on the board for Friends of the Riverfront. Now, who here knows what Friends of the Riverfront do does? Those are good. Almost everybody. Well, the two of our uh, primary missions are the land trails and the water trails for the city of Pittsburgh and beyond as we grow up Allegheny County and go on toward Erie with our other partners there. Now you are standing or on the Three Rivers Heritage Western Terminus at this point, but what we're here to celebrate today is our water trail. Now water trails go back many, many thousands of years. They're access ways, they're paths to get to places, whether it's just in your mind or away from housework or fishing and living. Now things that are important in a water trail, and especially our water trail, is that you're able to access the river, you're able to find it, and as you can see from our own kayak here, you're able to store it if you'd like to go and do something else. Like if you worked at Alcasan, you could come commute by a kayak. So today this is a great celebration for us. Um, we have several speakers that are going to talk to you about how this impacts their life, and first, for the neighborhood this is in, in Brightwood, I'd like Diane Anna, Anna, Anis? Anna. Anna Stixon to come up and speak. Like Diane. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the kayak launching dock here in, in Brightwood. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out it's a beautiful day here in Pittsburgh. It's a beautiful day here in Brightwood. Um, she asked me what I was going to talk about, and I told her Brightwood. <laughs> um, I'm the president of the Brightwood Civic Group. Our community runs from Marshall Avenue to Woods Run, from the river here up to Perrysville Avenue. We're um, doing a lot in this neighborhood. Um, when the neighborhood group started, it was just mostly a bunch of mothers, women in the neighborhood that um, got everything together for the children. They started a pumpkin fest, we had a Christmas party, we had an Easter egg hunt. Brightwood has grown from having children's parties to doing community development. There's a project done on Washburn Square, which is on Washburn, Superior, and Hodgkiss Street where there were 46 dilapidated homes that Brightwood entered into an agreement to purchase those homes and rehab. When we, when we purchased the homes, we said we didn't want to have all those homes in one site, so we had them torn down. In that site now are three homes with a parklet. We went through many years, many meetings, many uh, many politicians to get to that point 
So now down on, on Washburn Square, which is what we call it now, we have three beautiful homes, all have sold for $135,000 apiece here in Brightwood, and a parklet that will be finished by the spring. That process took 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> we, like I said, many politicians, many mayors, many uh, state representatives, many council people. And we thank each and every one of them because if you go down Superior Avenue now and see the Washburn Project, it's absolutely awesome. We're now working on a project in, on Woodland Avenue where we're trying to um, take ownership of homes that people have just left and we want to rehab those homes and get homeowners back into our into our neighborhood and we feel that this launch dock and this river front is such a beautiful asset to this community and through the insistence upon ed grant a brand over there come on ed come up with your dog just raise your hand he insisted that we have a ribbon cutting so that everyone could acknowledge what a beautiful asset that this stock is to our neighborhood. And we hope that we get lots of people in our neighborhood, not just on the river trail, that hopefully they'll come venture through our neighborhood and see all the wonderful things that we're doing in Brightwood. Thank you. Planning for this project began several years ago as part of the expansion of the water, Three Rivers Water Trail, connecting the north side neighborhoods with non-motorized access. And at that, I'd like to thank a number of organizations and people who helped us. Th this site and others were generously funded by the Pittsburgh Foundation, the Allegheny Regional Asset District, the Mellon Foundation, the Laurel Foundation, Heinz Endowment, Three Rivers Regatta, and tree revitalize. Supporting this specific development was the Pennsylvania Environmental Council, the City of Pittsburgh, uh, Councilwoman Darlene Harris, who was unable to be with us today. Uh, Kevin Quigley is here to, from the Mayor's Office. I know he's not going to speak, but where'd you go? Um, the Mayor's Office certainly supports this activity. And we had an Eagle Scout project here by Ben Robb. Additionally, helping to bring it all together was the Wil Wilbur Smith Association, who did the actual design work, Bally Design, who did the interpretive sign, Red Star Ironworks, Sign Pro, Faraki Landscaping, and all the, land all the volunteers who helped prep, clean, dig, and plant this site. With that, I would like to bring up Hannah Ehrlich Hardy from the Pennsylvania Environmental Council. See, I knew her when she was Hannah Ehrlich, so I still forget. Sorry, Tom. Hannah? <laughs> Thanks, Judy. I, I'm just here on behalf of, I'm here on behalf of the Pennsylvania Environmental Council. We're a statewide nonprofit, and we get the privilege of managing the Pennsylvania Water Trails Program with our state partners, Pennsylvania Department of Conservation and Natural Resources, Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, and then also the National Park Service. Um, so on behalf of the state and federal partners of the Pennsylvania Water Trails Program, I'd just like to congratulate Friends of the Riverfront on this beautiful access and also the local community. Uh, this is really a beautiful access point, and I think it's going to be a model not only statewide for folks around the Commonwealth who are doing projects like this, I also do think this is going to be a very nice national model, so um, I would like to congratulate you. This is really just a gem on the Three Rivers Water Trail, and we're very supportive of the efforts that Friends of the Riverfront is doing to promote increased use of the Three Rivers Water Trail, so congratulations to everyone involved.